I can confidently say I hated my loose natural hair. Hi, my little Mayflowers. My name is Amani Aiden Mayfield, and I have officially have had my locks for a year now. It's kind of crazy to think about all the growth, progress, and the transformation my locks went through. It's been a long journey. But yeah, I started my locks June 26, 2020. And here is what they are looking like today. Um, they've come a long way for sure. Definitely. I was scared to start my long journey. So I wanted to make this video to give individuals who were thinking about starting a lock journey, but not quite sure, the courage to start and to show them what it was like for me and to kind of just reflect on the changes my hair went through and how it transformed my confidence. My locks officially becoming one year old is a celebration. So I wanted to dump all the documentation I've been doing into one video. I documented a lot and looking back, I wish I documented more, but without further ado, I'm gonna get into the pictures and the videos I took during my lock journey, and you'll see the, I'm exposing myself. I'm definitely exposing myself, because some, some of these pictures and videos are ugly. So without further ado, let's get into it. Ooh! So yeah. This is what my hair looked like, and not going to lie, it was rough. These first few images are what my locks looked like the very first day I started them. I started with comb coils, and I have square parts, if you can't tell. I don't know how many locks I have, so don't ask me. But if you're really that curious about it, I could find out. <laughs> I was not feeling the coils at all. I immediately felt ugly whenever I got, in, got home and looked in the mirror. And in the first few months of me having locks, I really struggled with feeling and looking feminine. No one could convince me that I didn't look like an ant. But at the same time, I felt very hopeful for what my locks would one day look like. Ugh. I'm sorry these pictures are so bad, but I promise you the further along we go, the better they get. If you look close, you can see the start of some buds. If you watch a lot of YouTube videos like I did prior to locking your hair, you'll definitely hear some people say you might not get buds until a few months into your journey. My loose natural hair texture was very tight. I'm pretty sure I had 4C hair, so keep that in mind. If you have a loose natural hair texture type, then it's gonna take longer to lock and bud. Looser hair texture, longer to bud. Also, I got so desperate to look feminine, I bought this ugly flower hairpin and wore it in my hair. Um, looking back, I did not look cute, but at the time it made me feel better. And that's the end of month two. She did my edges really good. <laughs> Y'all, these front views are not it. <laughs> for some reason, I have a severe lack of documentation for this month. But as you can see, my locks are budding like crazy. And while they still look a little shiny, you can start to see them getting a little frizz. And compared to month two, they're thickening up nicely and they have a nice sheen to them. Prior to this, I was keeping my locks as dry as possible. But after this month, I started moisturizing them with the pictured product. Disclaimer, I no longer use this product, but I did use it for a good bit of the start of my lock journey. End of trois. Not much to say here. I'm still not taking that many pictures. I'm still getting used to my hair at this point in my journey. I can tell my locks are getting thicker but in this month, they were in this weird stage of not looking as thin as they used to, but at the same time, still looking sticky and thin, but at the same time, not. So <laughs> it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. 
it's like from my roots to the middle of the lock was a lot thicker than the ends were. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Now more than ever, it is very, very essential to mentally support yourself and to take this opportunity to grow. And I know a lot of people are going through rough times because of the pandemic, but it's also important that you are still maintaining yourself, exercising, and drinking water, even if it's just a little bit. Oh, frick. That's four down, eight to go. For some reason, I took pictures of my hair before the retwist, but not after. So the documentation I do have after I got a retwist doesn't look as fresh however between month four and five there's a huge difference it seems like the thickness really stuck this time around and the shininess is pretty much completely gone my birthday is in november but i still did not take a lot of pictures surprisingly <laughs> hi so i actually ran out of audio for this month so we're just going to let the pictures and the videos roll. On to six. <laughs> wow! Finally, some good looking pictures. <laughs> Nothing much to say here, I think. The six month mark is where I start to be okay with my locks. I'm still not fully confident with them, but I stopped disliking them and was starting to be satisfied with the progress I was making. Can you tell I was feeling the lighting in this picture? <laughs> in these pictures? <laughs> the last video, I didn't know why my hair was looking so jagged and sticking out like that, but you know, it's all a part of the journey. From my knowledge, it might be because of my square parts. Apparently, with a fresh retwist, square parts tend to not lay down, but at least with shorter locks. Once again, I really don't have that much to add or say about this month. Around this time, I was starting to get back into civilization again, and I moved on campus for the spring semester. I was nervous about wearing my hair out in front of people my age. Um, before this, I had just stayed home for school all day, so the only people who saw me were my family members. I still didn't feel cute, so I, I wore something over my head most of the time. That's how that went. <laughs> That's how lucky number seven went. I didn't get a retwist this month because Zoom University was kicking my ass. Plus, I had crashed my car, so I didn't have any mode of transportation. And with me paying for a retwist and paying for a lift, I was just trying to save money. So I decided to wait a month and a half instead of getting my hair twist retwisted every month. Going back and looking at all of the months and seeing the different phases my hair went through, I can definitely say that month nine was my favorite month by far. This is the month where I actually started to love my hair and I experimented with it. I did little pineapple half up, half down type of hairstyle. I 
bought accessories for it. So I bought a little silk bandana to wear over it to make it look, you know, to spice things up. And I just overall gained confidence in with how I looked, how my hair looked, how my hair made me look. And with that being said, we're just going to let the videos and pictures roll. If month nine was the beginning of me loving my hair, month 10 is just a continuation of that feeling. So I definitely started to realize the growth that my hair had went through and was appreciating it. I tried wearing my hair in pigtails. I don't think I got a retwist this month, but I was confident by this point I was confident with my hair and my appearance. Two more months to go. This month has a lot of pictures. Like I previously said, I felt comfortable with my hair now. My journey has been very fun. It's a feeling I can't describe. I look back and I'm just so glad I took the leap to start my lock journey. I get so filled with joy knowing that I was able to come from a place of just hating my hair and hating how my hair made me look to where I am now. I never thought I was going to be able to love my hair and now I do. <laughs> and I just get happy thinking about the progress I've made and where I started and I get happy and hopeful about the future and how my hair will change and grow and transform with time. And now we are at the one year mark. It's definitely been a insightful and fulfilling journey. I look back to the very first picture of my starter locks and I look at myself in the mirror now and I'm like, wow, who would have thought that my hair would change this much? Who would have thought I would actually like my hair? and get excited about what my hair will look like in the future. If you are thinking about starting locks, just do it. That's all I can say, just do it. I was so scared to start my lock journey because I was scared of looking ugly. Looking ugly! <laughs> like I hadn't already despised my hair <laughs> and thought I looked ugly with it. Um, so please, 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 if you are on the fence about getting locks, just try it. Contrary to what most people believe, you can take them out. And it's not a big deal if you do. You can at least say you tried it. 
along with my hair journey, I have also been going through life and going through a lifestyle journey with the pandemic and having been through everything they did in 2020. I've been changing the way I view wellness and thinking about how I want to live my life and what I want my future to look like. My hair has definitely been growing with me and has been a part of this crazy self-discovery, self-love life journey that I'm currently on. One of the things I can say with certainty is that while I, while I still have a long way to go and a lot of learning to do, after having low self-esteem pretty much my whole life, I'm starting to feel comfortable with myself and with being by myself. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, I guess. Regardless, if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions about my lock journey or about locks or about starting or you want to leave a comment about your lock journey, please don't hesitate. All comments are welcome. Thanks for watching my video.